Hey guys, so it is pretty windy today. Uh, I went on a solo trip to uh, just for a couple of nights to image Milky Way and also to image some deep sky objects. But um, sadly, last night here on a bottle two zone, um, this is oh, it's very windy. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Uh, this is uh, the Mojave Preserve, and um, I had some weird issues with the camera. Uh, there was like a bunch of squares. Uh, no idea why. I'm hoping it's a USB cable. But anyway, so this. Like everything you see here was useless to take, like this tripod, this mount, everything was useless, so I'm kind of mad about it. But anyway, so I took some Milky Way shots here last night, some pretty cool ones. Uh, stayed up until like 2 or 3 a.m. for that. Uh, but tonight I'm going to go, uh, I was supposed to go home, but I think I'm going to go to Death Valley instead and check out two or three spots there for Milky Way. So I'm going to take you guys with me. The spots I have in mind is Badwater Basin followed by uh, something around the visitor center and then lastly uh, the sand dunes uh, the mesquite so let's go and hopefully it's going to be a nice Milky Way shot I have a dream shot in mind which is very similar to this one here look at how beautiful this is sadly this one was taken from the incredible Eureka dunes and I don't have time to drive there so I will try the mesquite dune instead which is easier to get to but less impressive we'll see how it goes so here is the, uh, the view from this morning. There's a bunch of Joshua trees all around. It's pretty cool. And here I have the uh, Jackery battery charging my Canon batteries <laughs> that I used last night. So hopefully they become green pretty soon. Before we head out to Death Valley, let me take you guys to a secret location. I randomly decided to stop by. That is pretty cool. Wow. Crazy. If you guys want to see it, it is in uh, Mojave National Preserve. And I think the best time to come is between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. for this light to shine like this. Right now it's 11.30. And it's just so crazy. Wow. Like, I almost want to come back for the stars, but I don't think you can see anything. I'm guessing with the moonlight, you could probably see something here, but crazy. All right, I'm going to head out to a Death Valley. So I need to kill some time because right now it's only like 1 p.m. And so I'm going to get to Death Valley in about two hours, which is like 3 p.m. It's pretty hot and uh, the sun won't be down until like 8, so uh, I don't want to get it too early. And I'm just stopping like everywhere around the road. Like, there's so many cool things to see. Okay, I had to kill some time and so I decided to have some fun on the sand, which was a terrible idea. Hang on. So I'm kind of stuck now. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. Oh, this is pretty... So, hopefully, I never used this, but I'm oh, for the sand. I'm hoping this will work. Sand mode. I've been trying to get out of here, I couldn't. Come on. Okay, I'm really stuck. Yeah, I'm really stuck. It's scary. Yeah, I'm actually really scared now because I can't get out and there's no service here. I'm trying to shovel the sand away. Damn. Oh my god guys, I was so close. Wow, that was scary. Yes, this guys is expensive, but the best investment ever. Look at this. Ah. Oh. This just saved my life. There's no service here, it's hot as hell. Wow. So I got to Death Valley around 3 p.m. and I charged my Canon batteries and the Jackery batteries while waiting for dark. 
The goal here is to have a nice foreground for a star trail shot, then head out to the sand dunes. So the first stop here, we are at the lowest point in America, in Death Valley, and I'm waiting for sunset because it's still, the sun is still super high in the horizon. So once it gets dark, I'm gonna go down there uh, and walk about 15 minutes and take a picture of those uh, salt flats and hopefully have a nice uh, background. So as you can see in this shot, we have Polaris on the upper right with all the star trails going all around it. So what I did was I took a picture towards the north side right after sunset. And then uh, we have this beautiful foreground with all the uh, salt flats um, in the foreground. And then later I added the uh, star trails uh, in post because um, I couldn't spend too much time there. I had to walk back for half an hour to the car. And then I had to go to the sand dunes, uh, which I think was like 20 minutes away. Uh, not too late because I still wanted to do some deep sky imaging as well. So the star trails are actually taken from a different location, uh, but the uh, the foreground and uh, the location of the of, of Polaris is exactly where it should be. And then I got to the sand dunes and I ate some food, which was pretty good actually. Time to eat. Uh, yay! Yeah. Oh, it's good. I tried going on the sand dunes, but the problem is. There was so much, uh, there were so many footprints everywhere from tourists. So this time uh, that's a fail, but um, hopefully next time we'll have a, a better picture of the sand dune. And then I imaged all night with a small mid telescope. I imaged the um, Blue Horsehead Nebula, which you can see here. This is only three and a half hours of exposure, which is very fantastic. And then uh, in, the pa in the next several days, I went back so drove like two hours away every single time to borrow Tucson um, and I think I spent two extra nights on this target just because I really wanted to make it more clean and here's the result so I'm kind of disappointed because it was so much work like going back every single time I mean two full nights and so far away uh, and overall it looks the same but if you zoom in you can see it's much cleaner um, it's just not more impressive it's just cleaner so um, not super happy I don't think I would I don't think it was worth it to go back twice, but anyway, uh, at least now I have a clean image of the blue horse head. And then, um, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Um, I will try to go with Dahlia to a sand dune place in Nevada, and we'll try again to get this magnificent pic of the Milky Way with the sand dunes.